Hello and welcome to my second tutorial. In this tutorial I will guide you to download your first GIS software. It is called QGIS and it stands for Quantum GIS. It is widely used in educational and commercial environments and integrates many of the functions of other open source software as well as proprietary softwares. You can download standalone or in a suite of softwares. I will go through the first option. You will find all the links necessary in the description box below, so no need for you to type based on the video. As a standalone software, you can download it by going to QGIS website. You can type QGIS in your search bar or simply go to www.qgis.org. There you will see which is the latest version that you can download the software in. In my case, in November 2016, it is 2.18 Las Palmas. We could download the very last version or the last stable version. We will go with the last stable version, also called long term release. So if you click on downloads, you can choose the long term release for 32 or 64 bit. If you are not on Windows, you have the option of going to all downloads at the bottom of the main screen and choose the download suitable for the operating system you have, either Mac, Linux and many others. You can also download a different version of QGIS if you have issues with this version. Simply go to qgis.org slash downloads. It is a list of all previous versions. The download file is a small to medium sized file of 350 megabytes. While it is downloading, you can read more about QGIS either from the website or from Wikipedia. If you will enjoy working in it, I advise you to support their cause in whatever way you can. Also, please read the documentation whenever you need help with any issue of UGIS. You can find it under the documentation tab on the website. If you happen to have come across a more complicated issue, you can write it in the comments section of this video below or use the GIS Stack Exchange forum. This is a great place where there are many clever people waiting to answer your question. After the software has downloaded, you need to see where it is on your computer. Usually it is in the downloads folder. It comes as an executable, so you simply need to double click it and follow usual steps for similar installations of other non-GIS software. It is recommended that you close all other applications before starting the setup. Click next on the first screen, read the license agreement after that accept it. Now you can select the path by browsing to the preferred installation folder or by typing the address on your PC. You can read how much space it needs. In my case it's 1.5 gigabytes. You might want to download some sample data, however, I will teach you where to get free and good data in the next tutorial. Click install. Now I will show you how to install Inkscape. This is a free open source graphics software. Please go to Inkscape's website, inkscape.org, from the links below. You have the option of selecting the download depending on your operating system. There's also an option to select a previous version of the file by going to inkscape.org slash en slash release slash 0.91 and the slash at the end, which happens to be the last version. However, in the right side of the website, you have the option of selecting a different version. You can also read what is new in that particular version. Once the file has downloaded, double click the executable, select the language you prefer. It is preferable to close all other applications while running the setup, similar to QGIS. Now please read the license carefully and accept it. You now have options regarding the installation. You can choose to install it for all users. To create shortcuts, for example on your desktop, decide about additional files like examples and translations. Install as much as you want. 
Click Next. Now you can select the destination folder. Browse for a path where you want Inkscape to be installed, similar to QGIS installation. You can also see how much space is required and how much is available on your disk. Now you only need to click Install. After a few minutes the installation will be completed. Click finish. Thank you for viewing this second tutorial. In the next tutorial I will show you how to download data. All the best. Goodbye.